Hi, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to um, discuss um, life cycle of EGPs and managed beans. And I will create a very simple um, Java E application, a typical one with uh, JSF, a presenter. Um, hello, Java EE life cycle. And um, I would like to use a JSF page, a simple presenter or backing bean, a JSF page, an EGB and a control. So this is a JSF page. Then I would like to use a backing bean called index. Um, a single boundary, boundary, and a control. So the boundary is going to be an EGB. The control is just a manage bean, which does the actual work and returns a nice message like Java rocks and the boundary uses the control uses the control and via injection and just delegates to it. So usually in real world empty delegates are not that great, but I would just like to ex to explain you the life cycle so for demo purposes i think a single empty delegate is uh, okay to have and the first one is a model what means is request scoped named manage bean and we have one method here get message and we inject the boundary here And we just use the method of the boundary as well. Again, in typical applications that they would want uh, empty delegates are just not that common. Okay, um, now the interesting story. I would like to 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 um, to trace the creation of the uh, of the managed beans and EGBs. So for that purpose, I create a method. Uh, which is annotated with post construct and this returns just shows boundary and I will just copy that it works in for manage beans as well and in this method I would like just to use uh, the same with control so and now try to deploy the stuff. Oh, I forgot the following. I forgot to use actually the name bean. So just use that index message. So now try to deploy everything. So just run it. And let's see what happens. So the uh, Derby database is booted and the Glassfish starts as well. Um, the application gets deployed and browser started. So Java rocks, you see, we see the output Bound, control boundaries and the control was created first and then the boundary so on each request you see that actually nothing happens so the reason for that is the boundary is an EGB and it is pooled so it is created once and the container is going to create additional instances in case um, in case the load increases so what cannot happen that two threads are accessing the same instance but let's try to remove the stateless here and I will just repeat the test. And what you see is now on each request, the boundary is created because uh, the boundary is created and the control as well. And the reason for that is both are um, managed beans with dependent scope and uh, they inherited the scope from the index. So they're actually dependent on the scope of the index managed bean. So um, with a single at stateless, you can not only, you not only get transactions for free, but um, also better performance. So um, yeah, stay lean. 
thanks for watching the screencast and see you on uh, upcoming conferences, workshops and on air hacks. So thank you very much and see you next time.